Hello there guys and welcome to this video. So I've been thinking a little bit and I wanted to do something something different and uh, I know Lapu Lapu is like not the biggest thing right now he's like he's already been he's already had his time in the spotlight but since Lapu Lapu is such a big and important character in Filipino lore I felt like we should make a lore video comparing reality to the game. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? In the 16th century, Lapu Lapu was one of two sheep of Mactan, an island found right next to Cebu in the Philippines. When the Portuguese conquistador Ferdinand Magellan arrived in the Philippines and basically claimed everything for the Spanish, Lapu Lapu refused. Magellan offered Lapu Lapu a deal where if Lapu Lapu swore loyalty to the Spanish king and paid tribute, they would not attack. But Lapu Lapu refused this offer. Magellan's ordered his forces to attack the island of Mactan. And even though the Spanish had superior armor and weaponry, the Spanish quickly found themselves overwhelmed and had to retreat. Ferdinand Magellan overestimated the ability of Lapu Lapu and his warriors. And for this, he had to pay the ultimate price. So that was just some really quick backstory. I didn't mean to go in depth because I'm not a historian, so I don't want to go really in depth. If something was wrong, please leave it in the comments so I can change it. So who was Lapu Lapu? Well, he was considered to be the first real Filipino hero due to his resist of the Spanish colonization. And it's said that Lapu Lapu was a very smart individual. At the age of seven, he had already learned how to read and write. And keep in mind that this was in the 16th century, so reading and writing was like a big feat back then. And Lapu Lapu also did a multitude of sports during his childhood. And by the age of 18, he had already mastered all of these sports, becoming champions in them. And by this time, he had also fought against Borean soldiers and pirates, and won. So Lapu Lapu is considered to be a very important person in Filipino lore. He is the central figure found on the seal of the Filipino National Police and the Buri of Fire Protection. And he also has a statue in his honor, which can be found on Mactan Island. So let's compare this lore to the in-game lore. The mysterious waters to the south of the land of dawn are dotted with islands big and small. Here the land are fertile and the climate mild. Life thrives and food is in abundance. People live lives of peace and happiness. But one day a group of invaders came upon this peaceful land and disrupted the happy lives of the people. The chief of Makadan Island, Lapu Lapu, refused to become anyone's slave. The enemy has iron spears. We have brave hearts, he declared. Lapu Lapu took up his twin blades and led his people into battle, slaying countless invaders. Under his leadership, they won victory and the respect of the enemy, free once again to live in peace. But this incident of outside invaders made our hero aware of the world beyond this island. Though bested by enemies, he packed his bags and began a journey to learn about this world. So, uh, the lore is inspired by the real life lore. He uh, he was the leader or the chieftain of uh, of Mactan Island. So not Makadan, but yeah, it, it's sort of the same. And. Uh, I guess he refused to become anyone's slave, like, he he refused the Spanish to invade and occupy the Philippines, so... Yeah, I, I mean, the, the background lore for the character in-game is actually quite good. I don't know if you had that speech about the enemy having iron spears and we have, have brave, brave hearts, because I couldn't find any information about that. And, well... In game, he uses twin blades, or a big ass blades, which he can split into twin blades, as we all know. And uh, yeah, in in real life, that was not really the case. 
the the statue found on Macton Island depicts him with a sword and a thin shield. Lapu Lapu was a great warrior and he used or well I guess he used his sword to attack and his shield to deflect attacks. And I feel like that would have been better to have in game as well. Because we don't really have a character that's like built for offensive strikes but also have defensive capabilities and it would be it would be really nice to have a character like that so I think they should have made Lapu Lapu wear a shield and a sword instead of one big ass sword or dual swords and they should have had like they should have had him focused on offensive abilities but with some kind of defensive ability I'm not really sure how how it would have, how it would have worked but I feel like that would have been a better idea so yeah guys this was just a small video to to look up the lore of Lapu Lapu and uh, yeah he, he's a really cool he's a really cool hero and he seemed to be even cooler in real life so yeah the Philippines have something to be proud of <laughs> truly thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video and you want more of this kind of lore stuff leave a comment down below and uh, also subscribe and remember to click that notification bell if you want my videos as soon as possible. So, once again guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate all of you guys watching and liking and commenting and everything. It's just amazing. And uh, yeah guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.